example of our, the power of our language is the Western boundary. If we didn't have the stories, and if we didn't have the elders who remember the stories, and if we didn't have Billy who translated the stories for the lawyers and for the government, uh, we probably wouldn't have won that case. So the next generation, if they don't understand the language or how to translate, if there's something important in the land or for the community, uh, how would they be able to solve the problems? But the language has the keys to solving their problems. Uh, there's lots and lots of uh, recordings of how to live a good life, what to do in certain situations, but they're all in beaver. Everything is in beaver. And if they don't understand their language, how are they going to know what's in there? It's like the treasure box. The language is the key to open the treasure box. If they don't got it, the key, then they can't open it. They can't get the treasure. Mawanele. <laughs> That's good looking. In our language. Beautiful. That's how you say it. That's for a person. When you say that to a person, child, you know. Kawanele. It's just about the same, but it's talking about the land. It's talking about a place you are at. It could be a sound. Uh, it's got to be something alive. Kawanele. See the difference in the language? Uh, that's what I've been learning a lot with Billy when we do translating and stuff is uh, when you're talking to a human being, it's different. But when you're talking about the land, where everything is alive, when you say that word, you can see the trees, the grass, the air, the sound, they're all alive, they're moving. I don't know, it's not just what you see, that what kind of vision you get when you speak the language. We have a kind of like just a, a video playing. <laughs> you see the land different. And you, uh, when uh, Billy and Tommy, they tell stories of long ago, it's oh, like yeah. I'm there, you know? It's like I was there with them. Just the way they describe things how things were so alive. <clears throat> it's like I knew them, those people they were talking about, but I never met them. <laughs> they described the land, the history of the land, who was there, what happened there. And today, when I go there, it's just like I could feel the people there, what happened in that land, what happened there. Uh, Sometimes you could feel their pain. Sometimes you could feel their joy. And yeah. And it's important for the young ones, everybody really, to know the history of the land in their language, how they're going to protect the land and their culture and their way of life if they don't know it. 